Hello, my name is John Mahan. I'm an artist in residence here at Treasure Hill for the last three months. Um, my project is called The World is a Whispering Gallery. Uh, Treasure Hill uh, Village, very interesting, the history of the place, its location on the river, and there's two very large bridges here that link to New Taipei City as well. So I found it a very uh, nice place to base myself uh, as a kind of a middle point to explore the, the river system. So in my uh, installation, the objects I've chosen to present the sounds I've found, I feel I have a connection uh, to the idea of the project. I felt that they had a connection to the life uh, along the river of people in Taipei. So one of the objects I found um, very nearby Treasure Hill was a large piece of corrugated steel that was cast aside in the repair works of the riverbank. And the riverbank next to Treasure Hill uh, had a lot of works when I arrived. So the first object I obtained uh, was a large metal sheet. And uh, large metal sheets are very interesting in that they represent uh, the industry and construction kind of industry, I guess, and the modern world. And they're found everywhere across Taipei and most cities I've been in. So I'm very interested in the resonance of materials too. So I chose the object to present the sounds I found that are more uh, in line with this object or maybe some contradiction or, or juxtaposition within that. Uh, some other objects I found uh, along the riverbank would be a lot of the uh, traditional life, uh, Chinese culture, Han culture, um, and Taoist and Confucian and Buddhist culture in Taipei, which I think is a very living uh, religious culture. Uh, many, many temples in Wanhua, uh, for example, and many temple festivals. So I've chosen a, a Joss paper burning bin as another um, object to present sounds within. Uh, the objects I've uh, chosen to present the sounds I've found along uh, the river system. One example is a corrugated steel sheet that is ubiquitous. You find across all construction sites and uh, places that are uh, used to kind of fence off or use it as a barrier and I think it's quite interesting how the river system is defined by walls and barriers in Taipei. So I've decided to use a found corrugated metal sheet from next to Treasure Hill when some construction works were going on. And in the process of uh, exploring the river system next to Treasure Hill, I recorded a lot of reconstruction uh, works uh, along the bridge systems. And um, so I will be presenting sounds like diggers and uh, some other sounds along uh, industrial works areas, uh, as well as sounds of vibrations of, of um, the infrastructure of the city. Another object I have um, found or acquired um, after much searching um, was a spring mattress. And in many um, trips to Fuha Market uh, near Treasure Hill, uh, over many weeks, I spotted some old rusty spring mattresses. And it took quite a while to be able to find and obtain one. With the help of the, the staff at Treasure Hill and uh, my own searching, we acquired a we were given a, an old spring mattress, which I had to cut open. Um, and it's a quite a, a spring mattress, is like a spring, it vibrates. Uh, so it's very useful for uh, putting sand into. And also in previous work, I've used a, an inflatable mattress to present sounds because of the connection with uh, how at peace we are when we lie down. So I feel that people connect with sound more when they are in a kind of a passive uh, listening mode. So I, I like the idea of a bed being a place where we can experience the world from. Yeah.